Stress relief aromatherapy products are a uh, more than $1 billion a year industry. Everybody who is stressed wants to come up with ways or find a way or find a product that is going to help them reduce that stress. Johnson and Johnson, who is facing a lot of legal problems at the moment, has been marketing for many years their Aveeno lotion as being a stress relief lotion, as well as a couple other of their products. But according to a new class action, these products do nothing whatsoever to actually help consumers relieve their stress. Joining me now to talk about this is Scott Hardy from Top Class Actions. Scott, uh, stress relief is a huge industry. It is a huge money maker because anybody who's ever felt stress would love to come up with a way to reduce their stress, whether it's a lotion, whether it's something you put into the shower. If it works, hey, we will absolutely do it. But uh, these Aveeno products, according to consumers in this lawsuit, doesn't seem to be doing it for them. Sure doesn't. With the old aromatherapy boom and the essential oils boom, of course, big companies are going to hop on this and try to put out there this information that, oh, well, this isn't just a lavender soap. No, no, no. This is a stress relieving lavender soap. And that will make you just whittle away magically all your stress. It's not so much that just taking a nice hot bath will alleviate the stress by itself. No, it's the lavender scent itself that wipes away the stress. And so this class action is essentially saying, guys, come on, you can't put out there that using this soap is going to alleviate your stress. Where are the clinical studies? Where's the science behind this? We need to see this. You can't just go on to the essential oil boom and have people that believe that buy your product thinking it's going to alleviate the stress if there's no science behind it. And the class action specifically states that there is a dearth of studies out there supporting their claims that this alleviates stress. So therefore, they're getting nailed with it. <laughs> you know, to me, that, that's what I love so much about this issue is it's not just, hey, you didn't relieve my stress. I'm still an angry person. So I want my money back. <laughs> it, it is uh, 100%, hey, you're making a scientific claim that this can effectively alter a human being's mood or emotions. That, that's a scientific claim. So where's the science? Where's your studies on this? Where's your team of stress relief researchers and what can they tell us? And Johnson and Johnson obviously has to be like, well, that the team doesn't exist. You know, maybe we don't have scientific uh, people studying this. Maybe there's not a team of scientists working round the clock who are probably pretty stressed themselves. It just doesn't exist. And if you're gonna make a scientific claim, it shouldn't be that hard to back it up with the actual science. Johnson and Johnson's been known uh, to play a little fast and loose with the science. And so here it is, another product that they're getting popped for. You know, this one's a little more innocuous, I guess, than some of the other lawsuits that Johnson & Johnson is currently facing uh, that they continuously lose as well, by the way. But that does help to let you know just what kind of a company it is you're dealing with here. You know, you always have to look for that pattern of behavior. And, and we clearly see it with Johnson & Johnson. Well, and you've got the Johnson & Johnson Lavender Stress Relief body lotion, and the Johnson & Johnson, I'm sorry, the, the, this is the Aveeno Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion, and the Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. These are what these, the, these two products are what the class actions are tar uh, is targeting, but what people just have to remember is that if you take a bath with soap, you're going to feel better, and if you take a couple extra minutes and use that moisturizer afterwards, oh man, the stress is going to bleed right off you. You can't charge extra, Johnson & Johnson, you can't charge extra saying something is magically stress relief. Well, when that same product you sell right next to it that doesn't have the stress relief label will probably generate the same reaction from your customers. And if you do want to sell it as stress relief, you better darn tootin' have some clinical studies that support those claims.
And what's interesting is you've pointed out like the act of taking a bath, of soaking in a warm tub, that has been proven. I mean, that act alone can help alleviate stress. It relieves muscle tension. You know, yes, that alone works. You don't necessarily need this Aveeno uh, body wash to do that. Same thing with just the simple act of putting on lotion. It is a calming activity, you know, something that uh, uh, is almost monotonous enough to let your mind relax a little bit. So just the act of putting on any lotion can also help reduce stress for a few brief moments. What Johnson and Johnson could have done instead of claiming this is a stress relief lotion is market it as your regular lotion, your regular body wash, but then maybe say, Hey, may help reduce stress. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. But as we've seen too often, the company gets greedy. They see this big cash cow out there of aromatherapy and they want to jump on it. They want to get a piece of it and they did get a piece of it, but now they're also getting a pretty decent uh, class action against them too. Exactly. You're going to, they're, they're going to rake in their millions of dollars from selling these stress relief, stress relief products. And then they get hit with the class action and they say, well, you know, I'm just making up numbers here, but well, we sold $15 million worth of products. Oops. Let's go ahead and refund two or $3 million back to the consumers. They still win and the consumers get paid, but that's the way it goes. That's why the class actions are popping out there to at least make sure that the consumers get something back in their pocket. And then you will see a labeling change on these products if they stay on the market, which makes it a bit more clear. Like you said, it may just, as you said, Farron, it might just go ahead and add that little word may <laughs> help alleviate stress and there should be good to go. We'll see. Well, you know, and, and that's what I hope people take away from these segments you and I do together. It's not just about getting money from corporations. It's about changing the behavior, changing the marketing methods, changing the way that these corporations act and treat consumers. That's the biggest part of it. And that's what these lawsuits are aiming to change. And if anybody needs more information about this particular class action, follow the link in the description of this video, head to top class actions. And while you're there, sign up for their weekly newsletter and arm yourself with all of the knowledge consumers need to know. Scott Hardy, top class actions. Always a pleasure talking to you. Great talking to you too, Farron. Thank you.